and welcome. And in this part, we're going to be making marina for yachts, pleasure boats, motor boats, any sort of boat. This will probably this will be a obviously a, not a private marina, but you would pay money to enter the marina. It's going to use uh, I'm going to use a lot of uh, mods here. I think I'm going to use network extensions, uh, the Move It mod, uh, Surface Painter, uh, a couple of they're not really mods, they're assets, but they're like uh, sea walls. A couple of those, as you see, I was placing them, the ones with the trees on. Those are nice ones. Those are like uh, right next, be right next to the towns so that they're done up the most. And this is like a later. Also, they they'd be older because they made a stone and this would be a later addition like that has added on to it and it like reaches out onto that island and on that island there will be a uh, fort I do place the fort here here yeah, this is where the like the old fort is gonna be but this doesn't stay because because of the new update buildings when they get flooded get destroyed so when this Oof, get floods these get destroyed and I replace them later on I think I'll do a better job later because that look that did the look a bit tacky didn't really look realistic there you go that was, so it was all flooding and a lot of the like things get destroyed I think it's because of the update the natural disasters update has like ruined some of the assets it's quite it's quite annoying because then you've got to re-go and replace them. You've got to replace these flood walls. Not really flood walls, but they're sea walls. Which I'm going to withstand the sea and they just break. <laughs> but you know, as long as your city doesn't flood that often, you'll be alright. Use a move it there to move them into place when the uh, uh, like zoning isn't right. I think if you just saw there, there was a a water spawner directly on top of it and that was causing a lot of flooding so I just removed that and yeah it was good Bob's your uncle uh, this is adding on to the more pedestrianized more fancy it's not really fancy because it's just the town like the nice stone wall ah, and now this is the marina walkways I suppose like the get onto your boats and I use uh, I think this is network network extensions I use the dirt path and when you make a bridge it makes a nice wooden path I find it looks a bit like uh, some marinas do a lot of the time they are marinas they're concrete they're like floating concrete but I look I like the look of the uh, the wooden marinas better and it sort of looks better because these aren't really floating that's supported by legs so that's how that's how I've done that and I use uh, these boats if they actually float on the water they're very good uh, there's like a big pleasure motor yacht and there's a motor boat and then there's a small sailing boat I think there's also a rowboat I use a couple of times I wish the sailing boats were bigger because they're really just small I would like a giant, not a giant, just a big, a bigger yacht, because there's, there's all these places have it filled with yachts. You see the, the masts tower into the sky. It's good, but these, these are good. These these tiny ones, they create some variabil variability. If that's even a word. Into it, these big ones can be a bit annoying since sometimes I think I place them, and these boats they they probably could never get out of where they currently are but since they don't have to move or get out it's not really a problem so some of them have their own private uh, walkway gangway I suppose they'd be like a super rich person I placed a fishing trawler there and a luxury crew thing here yeah I ended up removing them because they float above the sea right they're a good couple meters above but I just don't, I just don't like them in the end, and I end up adding more um, marina there later. Not in this episode, but in a later episode, I think I will. And you saw there those concrete things; those were those were so great. There, you came on the 
workshop a couple weeks ago and they're like sea walls and there's a couple new tripods that break the water up they're, they're good those sea walls you can place them in the sea and move them around freely and move them up and down with move it they're very good and then here comes all the letting all the water settle trying to get it all right and then I, I look at this and think it wouldn't really be a road going all the way around it would probably just be open well it wouldn't be open concrete but it would be concrete underneath and then probably boats a couple buildings here and there maybe a car park 